Alright, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites. Come out week in, week out. Talk about the downfall of America. But first and foremost, we want to say call Halayim, Yahweh, 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 Shai, Yahweh, 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 fighting against the Allies, you know, but it says the third world coming quickly, because little do you people know there's going to be a third world war in your lifetime. Can somebody give me a, this generation from that kind of way? Because this is the last generation, man, which they coined it Generation Z, man, you know? So when was, uh, was born in 1994, when we got with 95, uh, Generation Z, you know? Somewhere around there. So they're not the, 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 the generation Z is not gonna die until World War III and the Messiah returns, man. You know? In uh, Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle the warrior is with confused noise and garments thrown in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Yeah, this this war, this particular battle that, gonna be with a uh, burning and fuel of fire. Because now you have the warheads, you know, you have bombs, you have missiles, you have grenades, you have the, the fire from the bullets being shot, you know, uh, different projectiles, you have rail guns, you have different armaments, you know, you have all these things that uh, differentiated from what they were using back in the ancient world, man. Like bows and arrows and you hear uh, men crying and men sighing and men screaming, seeing their guts, you know, uh, being, uh, what's the word? Eviscerated. Eviscerated. Disemboweled. Yeah, disemboweled, you know? So th this is going to be a different atmosphere, man. And not only is this war going to be uh, brutal and more brutal than any war ever before, but there's going to be wars in all these different countries, man. Uh, civil unrest, civil wars, you know, class wars, sex wars, race wars, you know. So all these militaries are going to fight, so on and so forth, because the Most High, he ain't bringing peace on the earth, he's coming to bring a sword. You know, you, you people are going to have to fight another hill. You know Somebody's on death row, you already know that they're gonna die before he, you know, before he actually gets put to death. The same thing with these nations, the so-called white man he saw, he's already dead, he's already condemned, he's already the, the prophets have already seen the vision, you know, so these things are short and they're short as Oh, can someone give me a uh, habit? Yeah, 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 yeah. And their steep shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven 
shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll and all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falleth from the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree. Yeah, that's, uh, that's talking about nuclear missiles, man. Uh, you know, because those thermonuclear missiles are actually going to be used, man. You know, people think that they're going to be one day just uh, a showcase in a museum somewhere, man. And everybody's gonna uh, pay money to go see it. Oh, look, this is the this is Satan uh, uh, 18, or uh, uh, this is the uh, Minute Man 3, or so on and so forth. No, they're gonna be used, man. They're gonna be shot out of their uh, quivers. They're gonna be shot out of their silos. This is Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. That's right, man. Just imagine elements. Elements are uh, energy themselves, man. You know? That's how the most high made this world, uh, bringing the elements together. So just imagine how intense that fire is going to be when those elements are being melted. And more predominantly, you people, man. You people are going to be melted for you stand. You know, as it says in Zechariah uh, 13 chapter, you know? And it tells you that all the works that are therein shall be uh, uh, destroyed, man. And the reason for that is you look, according to the scripture, you look at the society, and it's a wicked society, and the scriptures tell you that the wicked is going to be like chaff, man. And the world is in gross darkness, and it's been completely overcome with wickedness. Right? The so-called white man has spread and pushed his doctrine and philosophy upon the entire world and the whole world has become crazy, man, mad. Right? Totally against the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Right? The prophets are not are not seen or heard by this wicked generation. Alright? You have the uh, uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that are still in captivity to this day. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to destroy all this wickedness on the face of the earth. I got, I got a scripture for you. This is Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Yeah, and when you go into the history, that smith was Oppenheimer, man, who invented the atomic bomb. He said uh, something to the effect that he's become the uh, destroyer of worlds, man. He said, I am become death. Yeah, has become death. You know, which Esau is uh, the most high hammer, man. That broke the earth to slumber, man. Through his what? Through his, uh, his blessing. Which his blessing was his sword. His military, man. That's why they're constantly at war, man. You know, they don't take no breaks. You know? As soon as they leave one place, they go to another. Which, uh, hey, there's a movie where there was a society that would, like, destroy one planet and go to the next and destroy another. Like that movie in, uh, like that movie, uh, Pitch Black, man. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll go to one planet, destroy that planet, they, that's what you saw, that's man. That's what you saw, man. You know? And it tells you in Africa, that he is This is, uh, Africa chapter 2 and 5. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do you have an idea? I got Malachi. Oh, 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 uh, this is um, Habakkuk chapter 2 and, uh, let me start at 1. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Yeah, so when you turn on your television now, man, it's, it's uh, inevitable, man, that the end is going to come, man. You see it. Yeah, they uh, have a little bit of climax, a little bit of drama in the uh, their little pre-programmed media platforms and whatnot, thinking that, oh, you're living in a good case, but eventually it's going to be as a deep in the night, man. All hell's going to just break loose, and you're just going to be caught out there, thinking that what we were saying was dumb, and we are wasting our time. It says, go and tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Yeah, and that's why a lot of men fell out, man. Because they lacked patience, they, they lost their patience because it was tearing. Just like you people, you don't think it's ever going to come because it's tearing. The most high is merciful enough to give you enough time to get yourself together to repent, man. But you people are not programmed to repent. You're not programmed to feel sorrowful and uh, 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 
feel some type of way about the transgressions that you committed against the Most High, man. Huh? Verse 4, behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yeah, his soul is now lifted up upright in him, man. Now who's this talking about, man? This is talking about a, a, a figure that's going to be a predominant in this world to be, which we're in this world now. And that man is Esau, man. His soul is now lifted up right in him, man. He's the devil. He's the devil the Bible speaks of. That's why his whole, his whole system, which is a pig, is to lead you to death, to destruction, man, to destroy you. Every aspect, man. This uh, Sirach 10 and 1, a wise judge will instruct his people. Oh, man. Uh, you could find 10, too, man. This, uh, uh, this Sirach uh, 12 and 10, it says, Never trust thy enemy. For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. Yeah, his wickedness, man. He's just gonna get more wicked and wicked, man. You know, because I was like meditating. Society, this guy has control to like shift the ways of thinking in this society, man. Because what, back in the 90s, everybody wanted to be a, a gangster or whatever. Prior to that, 80s, you wanted to be a drug dealer. Prior to that, 70s, you was in the hippie movement or whatever, the peace pipe or whatever. Now, everything's about homosexuality and adultery, man. And he did that through, his, through the airwaves, through the music, man. You know, because uh, Satan is the prince of the power of the air, man. You know, but all you jakes out here, you trust in your enemy, man. You trust in Esau, man. But what happens to you? Look at the, look at the situation you're in now, man. You know, we were ruling Europe. We were, we were, we were and they made fun of us. We was hanged. You know? We were, man. You know, we were ruling Europe, but Jake always wants to be buddy buddy. So therefore, you let this devil creep in, and now he's over you, man. Zabakun chapter uh, 2 and 5 he says, yeah, also because he transgresses by wine. Yeah, that wine is his philosophy, his doctrine, man. That's how he transgresses, man. You know, he's going. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. And ain't nobody prouder than the Edomite, man. And he don't keep that home, man. He, he be in places where you don't even expect him to be, man. He in places you don't even know exist. You know exist. He's like a roach or something, man. You know, you lift up one stone, you go crawling out of that shit, man. Or you go to a, <laughs> wherever you want to go. Here's Esau, man. You know? Keep going. Says, who enlarge, who enlarges his desire is hell mm -hmm. and is as dead and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Yeah, man, because, hey, he can have, he can have, uh, he can be a rich man, but then he still wants more money. He still wants uh, uh, to, to, to uh, boast about his riches, man. He still wants to acquire, man. He still wants to uh, take your stuff, man, and own and own everything, man. He's not going to stop until he owns everything and pretty much everybody is dead, man. Nobody has a chance to come back to the Heavenly Father, man. Because he knows that uh, Israel, is especially, specifically, if they return on to the Heavenly Father, he's screwed, man. He has no rulership. He has no kingdom. So he's trying to fight like hell to have the archive uh, grip on his power, man. To keep his power, man. Now, that uh, word clay goes back to death, man. This 
country is severely in debt, man. You know, and that's the way it thrives. It thrives off debt. That's what your dollar is, a debt promissory note, man. You know, and just like everybody that knows about economics, they always bring out, if America was ever to pay off its debt, there would be no more money in circulation, man. And that's exactly what Esau wants, because he wants to chip everybody, man. He wants to set up these false uh, epidemics and pandemics. He wants to set up these false narratives and say, oh, well, the solution is to chip everyone, man. So we can have this thing under control, so we can quarantine, we can see who has it and who doesn't. We can uh, administer a vaccine for it. You know, because he wants to put uh, that mark of the beast system out there already, man. Yeah. No? They was running that, uh, they was running that in uh, Africa too, in a program where they was microchipping people. Oh, it's like not to cut you off, but who was the main nation uh, in Africa though? Chinese. Chinese are setting up shop. You have a lot of you have a setting up shop here, man. Yeah. You know? They do it through um they do it through the UN. United the United Nations. Uh they call it like the peace uh, corps, things like that. And they use they use names like these because they want to disguise what they're actually doing. And the reason why they want to give you a microchip and they want to track it is so what they say is that if you got a microchip, they can just scan your chip and see what vaccinations you have and have not gotten. You know? And, and so they spin it like that. Just like they say, you know, if you have a toddler or something, you put a microchip in the toddler and it just lies and, you know, he gets kidnapped or whatever, you be able to find it and everything will be cool. You know, and so what Esau likes to do is he likes to spin his wickedness as a, a promise of, of safety and peace. Man. But really, it's, it's to enslave him, all right? That's what it's ultimately for, is to enslave him. Shit. Oh, look, man, I'm opening doors. I ain't even got no key. Oh, I'll look, I'll start my car. Uh, whatever the, uh, whatever that device can uh, 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 bring as a so-called miracle, or whatever or tech, techno, technological advancement, man. Yeah, it's way bigger than that. Question. Elon Musk he was talking about. Let's you know, start that car. What was it called? Uh, Neuralink. I was watching his. Uh, I was watching his uh, Neuralink. Um, presentation and what he was talking about was that the Neuralink would be able to cure Alzheimer's, would be able to make people that couldn't walk, walk again. Yep, yep, yep. Do all these different miracles that you see in the Bible so that Esau could say, look, see, you know what I mean? We we have the power. We are the gods, man. And they also, he also said they're gonna make, it's gonna make people geniuses. Yeah. Which, why would the elite want you to be a genius, man? Well, that's the thing about it. When you think about it, because really what he wants to do is he wants to symbiote, symbiote uh, your consciousness with the consciousness of an AI robot. So basically, like Elon Musk, I was watching a podcast, and Elon Musk was talking about everybody is cybernetic to a certain degree. You, know, you got your phone, you're able to access the internet, which is unlimited amounts of information at the touch of a finger. He said, but the reaction time between you and that information is you pushing buttons on the phone. What he wants to do is make it where your reaction time between you and information is your thought pattern. So it's just pain with information. The best is brought that up, though. So 
somebody, somebody, you, you would be a human navigation system. You'd never get lost. You've got to be You know? And these things will be enticing the people in the world. Be very enticing. That's how he's so he wants to entice regular ass people to take away. Right? Whether you believe it or not. It's actually the mark of the beast. It's all about the outside to destroy you. Take that mark of the beast. There's Revelation 19 20. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. Yep. With which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. And them that worship his image. Alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Esau's a false prophet. Right? He's got his Vatican. His Vatican set up. That's the thing that the Vatican will put the microphone. And he'll make it. He'll make it to where you people don't. It's like that one small guy that was making it happen. Everybody tapped his sister. Esau will spin it in a way to make you think that it's the right thing to take the microphone. Hey, but going back to the Vatican, he was a. Uh, yeah, I mean, every time you hear about homosexuality and pedophilia, it's coming out of the fucking, the, the Catholic Church, man. Yeah. And, and who's the main ones that are Catholic? Uh, uh, Northern Kingdom, man. Northern, Northern Kingdom and uh, uh, Irish, bro. Yeah. The Irish are heavy, heavy in the Catholicism, bro. Yeah, so it's gonna, uh, it's gonna sweep through the whole world, man. And then you know the uh, imams, they're gonna be all in cahoots. So Islam's gonna tell their uh, followers or whatever. Pretty much everybody's gonna be telling each other to go get the chip, except the men of the Lord, man. And those that believe in Yahweh by Shemiyam Shah, man. No, those are the only ones that are going to escape the hour of temptation, man. Yeah, because yeah, they're going to have commercials. They're going to make it look very enticing. They're going to have spokespeople. You're going to have these different celebrities getting the microchip. Hey, if you want to be a celebrity, you're going to have to get a microchip, man. A lot of them already got it. And, and, what, and what's it going to do? It's going to it's gonna be able to enhance their voices so they can, they can actually sing amazingly. It's going to be able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, do all types of different things uh, uh, to enhance their their uh, uh, demigodness, not demigodness, but uh, idol, their idleness. You know what I mean? So the people will further worship. Hey, Esau is gonna bring this chip out, and it's gonna look immaculate to you people, man. Remember about a year ago, you got niggas that had that. Uh had the fucking flesh that would open up and the auto tune and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit's gonna be real when that early comes out. They're really gonna have that, bro. And, and all these regular ass people, they're gonna want, they're gonna want that. You're gonna have the regular Joe ass person get a microchip and be able to sing. That nigga T Pain was talking about doing that years ago. He was talking about investing money into that because we know T Pain was sort of to that, That's the that, 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 that people that understand the tech industry know where the future is headed. It's all cybernetics. It's all uh, transhumanism. You know? This is uh, Revelation chapter three and ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Yeah, because there's going to be a point in time when all hell's going to break loose and the economy is going to collapse. And the only option that you have to survive is to take a, a, a microchip if you're, not, if you're not in the spirit of hell by the time shot. That's why we're doing what we're doing, alright? Because it tells you in the scriptures you have not resisted on the blood striking against us. There's going to be a point in time where it's going to be dangerous for your life to reject sin. In the form of a microchip, right? in the form of these different philosophies, in the form of so called wet uh, indoctrination system. Okay? There's going to be a point in time where preaching the word is actually going to get you killed, man. Yeah. It's like back in the, the book of Acts, man. Because uh, brothers always bring out this Acts all over again, man. You know? They were trying to kill us back then. And like uh, the brother brought up, to, to preserve us from the hour of temptation, man. Cause it's gonna be hell out here, man. You know these people are in good case right now. Big shoes are cheap. You know her. This is a, a, a strip mall, or whatever. An out, an out, 
doing ball or whatever. Rocking a huge hill. Yeah, yeah. Having a good Sunday, it's so called. Yeah, but all that's going to stop in the group of the Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, Revelation 13 and 15. Yeah. And he has power to give life unto the image of the beast. Yeah. The image of the beast is called speech. Because that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that image is talking about that old Roman system, man. Huh? Yeah. Well, that old, old Roman tech, man. You know, that was upon earth when Yahweh Shah was here, man, and the, uh, the men of the Lord, the disciples, man. Uh, Esau wants the whole world to follow after that system, man. He wants the whole world to build these high-rise buildings. When the scripture said only three stories, you only could build up to three stories, you know? He wants you to have a, 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 a something similar to a Democrat and Republican, a, a Senate, so on and so forth, elect, elected presidents. You know? That's why he's so hard hell bent on going against all these dictators, man. Like Kim Jong un or the Alatollah Khamenei. You know, all these different countries that don't follow after that pattern, man. You know? So eventually if you don't if you don't want to follow after the Roman way, he's gonna come after you, man. Yeah, he's already doing it. He you told know? you he gave, he gave him power, the Lord gave him power to to, to, to make the image uh, come to life. Yeah. You know, so that ain't that old dead ass way of living, that ancient Greco Roman Empire that was destroyed, all right, actually came back to life. And now the so called white man's pushing that on all these other nations. And if these other nations don't want to adhere to it, what does Esau do? He starts dropping bodies, kills you. He'll yeah, kill yeah. you. He'll smoke your ass, man. Let the bodies hit the floor, man. Yeah. yeah. And there's only so much you can say about him or say about uh, the elite, which are uh, so called uh, Jews. They're Jewish. They have a group set up called the Anti-Defamation League. Yeah. And if you go too hard against them, they'll, they'll come through and mow you down, man. You know? If you have, like, actual evidence, uh, 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 you know, like these different whistleblowers, like these different Edomites, they have access to real documentation of shit that Esau, the, 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 the elites are doing. If you have that access to that type of information, you're, you, you, you become a whistleblower, you become a fucking, you're a dead man, bro. Yeah, like Julian Assange, Eric Snowden. That, was, that guy that made that movie, uh, Great State, they killed him. Hey, look at the Chinamen that tried to warn people about the coronavirus. Oh, yeah, they did. They, they smoked his ass. I was uh, packing this fucking uh, book called The Jewish... Uh, how Jewish people changed the, the world or history or something. And it was Cesar Bozier on the front, man. <laughs> well, even though so-called boy, he is. But uh, yeah, so the, that's the that's the that's the truth that they want to put out there, man. Which is all lies, man. You know, and they don't want you people to say that he's a liar, man. But the whole world is starting to see the so-called uh, white man for the devil that he really is, man. You know. This is Job chapter nine, and verse twenty-four. Yep. It says. He covered the faces of the judge thereof. Yeah, and the true judges are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But not, uh, really the elective, man. The electives, the elite, man. Because we have our own elites, man. Just like the so-called white man, he has the Illuminati, which is the Rothschilds, DuPonts, the Gettys, the Wahlbergs, Oppenheimers, the Rockefellers, so on and so forth. We have our own elite, man. Starting with great news. So starting with Yahweh Shai and uh, the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, man. You know? And it's funny too, like when you look at when you look at the difference between Esau and Jacob, like in, in order for you to be elite, you gotta be a straight up blue blood either, my bro. They 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 carried that line from Henry. But Jake's elite comes out, out of a mixture. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all through the spirit. It's a spiritual. Son. So it's like it's all it's really it's literally the, the right hand versus the left hand, man. Carnality versus spirituality, bro. And the most spiritual people on the earth are the elect uh, of the nation of Israel, so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, you know, and those that are descendants of them. That's why that's why you got the elect that's gonna that's also gonna look like other nations. Why? Right? Because it's a it's a spiritual thing, bro. 
the script? God. This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 31. For ye may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn, and all may be comforted. Hey, but you, and you see how the Spirit works, how, you, how this brother brings something out, and then I'll jump in and add on, this brother jump in and add on, and that's the way that it's supposed to go, really. Hey, hey, hey. Like water. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. I was, I, uh, my, my woman wife likes to watch this uh, show called Criminal Minds. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, yes. And it's like the FBI, they have a division called the BAU where they profile people based on different characteristics and things like that. And I hate that fucking show, man. Oh, what's but, this? But I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I hate it, man. It's so stupid. But, anyways, we're like, we're, we're, All but right, the funny thing. Is, According to salvation, man. Okay? We're telling you, in order to live, you're going to have to come back to your heritage and follow the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of your ability. Alright? And to ultimately come out come out here and, and sanctify yourself, man. You know? Give you, you know, uh, uh, because this is spiritual sacrifice what we're doing out here. We put our bodies out as a living sacrifice. We, we put ourselves all out there. So when that, when that day does come, when they really demonize us, uh, uh, and they put us out there like that. <coughs> we're we're already out there, man. It ain't gonna. It's it's gonna be easy for Esau to just pick videos out and pick things out and say this is this is that guy, this is that guy. Why? Because we're not we're we're standing boldly. We're not we're not being moved. We're not being removed into a corner. Man. All right. We're we're out here because we believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that what we're doing. Is our profession is going to lead to the salvation of our, of our souls. Yes, sir. This is uh, Psalm 119 and 9. Beth, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to the 
by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Hey, that's how you get Yahweh and Yahweh tribes to look at you. All right? Because the Lord ain't going to deal with nobody that's just in this world doing all types of wickedness, bro. All right? You, you, the Lord don't just deal with anybody, man. You got to you gotta cleanse yourself with this word, man. All right? You got to follow after the law, statutes, the commandments, see how about you know, if you want the spirit of the Lord to come apart, the Lord ain't going to deal with you otherwise. It says Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets have been before me and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet was prophesied of peace. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, has truly sent him. Yeah, that's right, man. So, yeah, because this is what we, this is uh, the, this is the, uh, this is how you tell if uh, a man is a real prophet or not, man. And right now we're prophesying against this kingdom called Babylon the Great, or you can call it Nineveh, or you can call it the daughter of Babylon, or you can call it the Egypt, you can call it all the different kingdoms that were before it, because it, 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 uh, it takes on the customs of all those different kingdoms, man. You know? And we're saying there's going to be uh, a war, pestilence, death. We're telling you that it's going to be destroyed, wiped off the face of the earth. Because you got Esau that always says, oh, we're going to we're gonna go in this country, we're going to wipe it off the earth. No, your country's going to get wiped off the face of the earth, man, according to the Holy Scriptures. That's the reason why, you know, hey, even uh, Donald Trump was like, oh, these uh, perennial prophets of doom, man. You know? We're telling you these bad things that are going to happen so you can get your mind ready to, to uh, uh, hopefully uh, survive that day, man. If it's the most high's will, man. You know? Hey, but you know what the cold, the cold thing about it is? is it, you know, they call us the perennial prophets of doom. They call us this, that, and the third false prophets and all these things. But we're literally coming out of the Bible and telling you things that they were written thousands of years ago that are happening today. It's actually going on. It's not like we're just looking around and saying, oh, this is We're actually bringing out of an ancient book. Yeah, I don't see any people that follow Islam out here. I don't see the Catholicism, the Catholic Church, or the Christian Church out here, man. Because what do they have to prophesy about? They don't they 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 got about peace. They ain't got no prophecy. That's what they're all prophesying about. <laughs> all these things and doctrines are prophesying of peace. You even got you can even other Israelite groups talking about we got to build our kingdom within this kingdom. We got to start schools, we got to start stores. That's all bullshit because America's about to be destroyed. Okay? Little do you know. And that's how you know they're false prophets because here it is, the scripture says the prophets are before me and before thee of old. Prophesied both against many countries, kingdoms, of wars, of evils, of pestilence, man. That's exactly what you see here coming today. You got a fucking coronavirus scaring the world right now. You got all these world wars in the Middle East. A different war in the Middle East. It's a war in Yemen, war in fucking Syria, war in Pakistan. Okay? All this war, there's a war in Palestine. Okay? So these prophets, these, these false prophets, these pastors, prophesying a peace. Well, when is that peace going to come? There is going to be peace, man. The brother, we started the camp with, uh, with Revelation 11 and 14. So the second woe is coming quickly. The third woe. The water. The third woe coming quickly. The second woe is fast. So what's coming is a big fucking war. Okay, it's not gonna be peace, man. Okay, it's gonna be a big fucking war, and a lot of people are going to fucking die. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Can I ask something real quick? When you said uh, they're trying to build, right? How's Israel gonna build with Yahweh told Esau, yeah, you shall build, but I'ma throw it down. So what? What more so than that? Niggas that trying to build schools and trying to uh, build a building and uh, create things and, and 
in this kingdom, man. Both sides are gonna throw this place down, man. You know? Yeah, so you thought gonna throw this place down, that means whatever you build inside of it, you're gonna get thrown down with it. You know? Yeah. Uh, First uh, Thessalonians 5 and 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. They ain't gonna escape, just like you Jeremiah 11 and 11, man. You're not gonna be able to escape, man. Where are you going to run to? Where are you going to hide, man? Just like you regular carpenters, you, you ain't got no bomb shelter. You ain't got no uh, max underground military base. You don't got no deep underwater sea base. You ain't got the ability to go up to the heaven. No, no. In uh, Jeremiah 11, 11, Therefore thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Jim Yahweh Shah, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Yeah, man, because hey, the most I going to say, not the Christians out here, man. But at least uh, newly created creatures, man. That's scary, man. Fucking think of a horror movie and then, like, a, a monster in a horror movie and then seeing it in real life, man. A werewolf chasing you or something. Or a, 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 a demon chasing you or something, man. That's scary, man. Talk to saw and he was making chimeras. He was making animals. He came out with like giant cobras. He even brought out specters. You know, all kinds of things that would run the water. You understand that? Uh, you remember that nigga? Uh, all these guys talking about werewolves and all these uh, newly created creatures. Well, the scriptures talk about newly created creatures in the Book of Wisdom of Solomon. That they're going to be able to breathe, uh, breathe uh, close uh, sparks, the fire out their, out their, out their mouth. Yeah, you gotta realize, and if a person says something about a werewolf, we're not talking about a mystical creature. The, 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 uh, a human that got bit by a werewolf. In that's not that's not what, what nobody's saying. What we're talking about is Esau actually fucking experimenting with DNA and, and creating motherfucking freaks, man. Freaks. <laughs> Basically, that's, uh, that's the best way I could put it. Freaks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like dudes, like the buff, the, the individuals in the hill, hills yeah, have yeah, eyes, like man. that type of shit, man. No. But, but a nigga will watch a Marvel's movie and it'd be all hard into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, you, the Hulk, what was the Hulk? Yeah. What was Wolverine? They were test subjects, man. No. This motherfucker's name was Weapon X at the military training. No. Right. And he was like a werewolf. Him and his brother Saber too. Yeah, he even had that nigga uh, wearing on his Marvel shirts, but he can't fathom the imagination of something else being there. And what we're talking about is reality. Esau actually does it. Alright? Esau literally has fucking exosuits. Esau literally, he wants to put a chip in your brain, man. That is a newly created creature. That is a, yeah, that is newly created. Uh, people got fucking iron you with know, steel hips and shit like that. He got all he got is he, he can make you into a robotic person, you know, uh, like an android and shit. Remember the while back, I think in uh, the mid '90s, I know they made a movie about it, but they had super soldiers, man. Super man, they gotta have them. They, the Russians were testing, were, were taking uh, uh, gorilla, were taking human heads and putting them on gorilla bodies, trying to make trying to make super soldiers. And you can look it up. The Russians were actually doing that back in the back during like World War II. Man. So hey, the Bible's not too far fetched for you people, man. But you think it's just a, a, a mystical book, man? Yeah. On the level of some like Dungeons and Dragons type stuff, man. Or because they don't understand the Book of Revelation, man. Most high didn't open up their minds to have the understanding of the deep dark sayings. The, the, uh, 
That's a great citizen, man. You know? So that's what's going to destroy you. You know? And, and victory is going to destroy Esau because we already got the victory from the outside, man. Your, your efforts are futile, man. And what about spiritual power, man? Spiritual power. And it ain't from no gamma radiation, man, which is which retarded, man. You know, radiation causes cancer. You know? Spiritual power is going to be endowed with spiritual power. It's just from the scripture from Paul Hart, man. Paul Hart, man. This is wisdom of Solomon in 5.15. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also. The righteous are going to be more righteous. All right? What we're doing is righteous. The righteous thing. Okay? And we're not like you regular ass people. We don't. We're not just out here uh, living in sin, all right? We actually follow, we adhere to the commandments of the Bible, all right? And that's why we're out here. And, and we're not just out here for ourselves, we're out here to teach, all right? Because you can cleanse your way. You can, you can grab hold on to righteousness, man. You just got to have faith to believe. Hey, because like, look, we're not out here for ourselves because, hey, man, if, if, if Gad is on a walk, the car went out there on the highways, then how would I would have been? How would I get here? Or the apostles, how, how would the congregation be so big? It's bigger than us. It's bigger than us, man. You know? What we do is for the next brother, man. What we go through on our day to day, when we car trouble, uh, relationship trouble, family trouble, just to come out here every week. Just so this brother can come in. This brother can come in, man. And yeah, you know, 144,000 and an innumerable multitude. Yeah. But guess what? The 144,000 is going to be preaching to that innumerable multitude. And that innumerable multitude is going to do what? Be sanctified in the word. Alright? Through, through us, what we're going to see is that number doing the things that we're doing now, man. Right? Alright? Standing in the face of all adversity, in the face of the so called white man's death, we saw you, man. All right, who is actually an Edomite? You know, it's say so-called white man. You might look at me and be like, oh, but look at you. But really, it's, it's much deeper than that, man. All right, so-called white man is some low-level shit, man. We, we call them Esau among ourselves. We don't, we don't just be talking to each other, all the so-called white men. No, we, we say Esau, Edom, man. All right, because we know, we, know, we, are, we have a, a deeper understanding of the truth, man. Yeah, go ahead. This is Obadiah chapter 1 and 20. And the captivity of the host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto Zarephath, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in uh, Sephiroth, shall possess the cities of the south, <laughs> and saviors shall come up on Mount Zion. Yep, saviors, just like in the time of Jesus, what was the Lord doing? Raising up judges to judge Israel. And what were the judges doing? They were, they were telling Israel right and wrong. Don't, you know, they're, they're reading of the law, the law of the commandments. And that's the same thing that we're doing today. The Lord has raised up judges in these last days to tell you people right and wrong. Just like you brought out in Job 9, they, they're trying to cover the faces of the judges they're up, man. They're trying to put himself as if he's a judge, man, as if he's God, man. Which it says in uh, the, the New Testament that uh, he opposes and exalted himself above all that uh, is called God, man. Yep. That's the devil, man. So this is what we're, 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 we're uh, trying to warn you people about. We're trying to enlighten you with this truth, with this knowledge, so you can also, too, be illuminated, man. You know? To be illuminated is to know the truth, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't finish talking about the Go ahead. Uh, it says, And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be a house. And it judge the Mount of Esau. Why that name is very important, man. Why does it say to judge the Mount of Esau? Because at the at the latter days it was going to be Jacob versus Esau, man, which we have right now. All right, because Esau is controlling the world on the left hand side, man. All right, but the righteous are coming back into authority, man. That's what you see happening right now. Man. All right, because we have authority according to how much we have right. What do we have authority in? These scriptures, bro. That's what. This is where our authority lies. You 
can't tell us nothing about these scriptures because we are the authority. All right, that's why if Esau tries to come up with his lame ass doctrine, he's going to get shit snapped in half. Because he has no authority in his book. None. He's like a vocab. And vocab alone, you have no authority in this book. You have no reason to even touch this book. You are not an Israelite. All right, you're a devil man. That was it. This is Habakkuk 1 and 6. It says, For lo, I raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the breadth of the land, to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. That's how you saw go with the judgment, man. Judgment and dignity shall proceed of themselves. You know? They think they're the top guy. They think they're the, 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 the shit, as people say, man. They got the, all the juice. They got the drip or whatever, man. You know? But the both sides going to put a hold to that, man. Hey, what type of interest into this world is a, 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 a being riding on top of a chariot, man, to go destroy what people consider the top nation on the planet, man. That's power, man. And there's a dilemma the people in which this nation had his people under subjection, man. That's no, that's Lord, that's, that's something that you're gonna be telling your kids forever and more, man. In the, in the kingdom, man. Look, man, but how y'all was shot came to you, you on top of the chariot, the, 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 the chariot of the people. It's like, man, this is real, like, who, who is this that coming from Edom with dark garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength, high speed in righteousness, mighty to say. Yeah, man, just imagine that mountain of a ship just moving through the atmosphere, man, making all types of, just like, like, a, I believe, I'm probably sure it's going to make a noise that is going to make people tremble, man. Because people are already going to look at it trembling at the sight of it, man. It's literally going to scare people to death. Yeah, they had told you that Revelation 1 and 2 was the same thing. They just said the heart of the building. Yep. It says man's heart fell in the fear. Yeah, because it's something that people can't uh, uh, fathom, man. They don't believe in aliens. People, the majority of people don't believe in uh, uh, aliens and so on and so forth. So how much so would they believe in the yeah, outside coming back with yeah, the aliens? Yeah, they'll, they'll believe in aliens. They'll believe in gray aliens before they believe in aliens. Actually being those characters, being those, being those flying saucers, man. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. There's Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Yeah, and those clouds are the chairs that can cloak themselves, man. The chairs are like, uh, they can cloak themselves and disguise themselves as clouds. They can be invisible, you know. They could just be, uh, look like uh, orbs of fire and whatnot, man. You know, that's something that Esau can't do, man. He's try he tries to mimic the technology that Yasha Allah has, but he fails, <laughs> man. That's why... They play around with all these people's arm, ar arms and or uh, armaments, man. Like Iran, the chariot was just playing tic tac toe with their uh, air defense systems, man. Or the, the chariot will hover over a silo and activate the nuclear weapon, or deactivate it, or, or, or uh, play with uh, the, the ships at the, in the sea, man. And, and, man, we didn't even talk about Leviathan yet. We need to keep going. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Yeah, because the Bible speaks about reincarnation. Those same Roman soldiers that pierced our Lord is back here today, man. You know? Keep going. Even so, amen. I am Alpha and Omega. The